At VMworld 2011, we talked about something called VM granular storage in session VSP3205. Uh, um, uh, definitely a tech preview of some things to come. And uh, this is a demonstration that, you know, a little bit of time has elapsed. It's VMworld 2012 that shows a little bit more about how this idea could be used. So let's take a quick look. What we've got here is a VNXE 3300. Um, running a beta version of the code and as you can see it's got something called an IOD multiplexer. This idea is an idea that uh, is part of the VM granular storage idea. Instead of having LUNs and file systems per se, you create virtual volumes on a VM by VM basis. And you can see here that it's got these different storage profiles. This is an extension of the idea of what VASA does today, uh, which is create policies for storage. Um, you can see here that we've got a series of uh, data store-ish like things. They're really pools of storage that out of which virtual volumes can be created. It's really a capacity pool and not really a data store per se. And you can see we've got some that are used for production, uh, some that are used for some next-gen development work around SAP, and they've got various profiles that are assigned with them. Um, and if we take a look at development, for example, in development, you could say, hey, it can support multiple profiles, silver and gold, not just gold. Maybe bronze is an example. But again, you got to think of this as a pool of capacity with various capabilities rather than LUNs um, or file systems with those capacities. A very strange idea, um, but it's really where uh, VMware, EMC uh, are taking this whole idea of storage policy and abstraction. So as you can see here at the VMware layer, there's a series of uh, uh, policies that are, are there that can be used. So bronze, silver, and gold, and they represent different capabilities. Again, don't think of it as the capabilities of a LUN or a data store, but a virtual volume, which is an individual virtual machine. So if we go and we take a look, uh, you can see here that we've got uh, a vSphere cluster. Again, this is a, 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 you know, a release candidate version of uh, vSphere 5.1. Uh, one that has got this uh, beta code in it. Um, and of course, we're using uh, uh, the older VI client as opposed to the web client. So again, you can see this is all really just prototype stuff for now. But uh, we're going to go in and we're going to create an SAP VM. We're going to put it into that capacity pool. Notice it says VVOL, not NFS or VMFS. And uh, off we go. We're going to create it. Uh, we selected the profile, by the way. And the profile shows what V, what uh, capacity pools could create a virtual volume, in other words, granular at the VM object layer uh, for that individual uh, virtual machine based on its policy. So off it goes, um, and in the process of creating that virtual machine, uh, if we uh, go and we take a look uh, at uh, um, what's actually been created, you can see, okay, great, we've got these storage profiles and inside gold, uh, we've got one VM that's been deployed uh, in that particular policy pool. So if we go and we actually take a look at uh, perhaps uh, what that looks like at uh, the storage layer a little bit later, you'll see some interesting stuff with that. Now let's what we'll do is we'll go into Avamar, which as now people know is the basis of uh, uh, the vSphere uh, data protector. But this is uh, the full-blown Avamar 6.1. Uh, you can see the uh, UI uh, is not as nice as the natural one that's been embedded into the uh, uh, vSphere web UI and VDP. One thing that's cool about that project is it's actually going to accelerate Avamar itself as well. So future versions of Avamar will benefit from that project as well. So what we did is we just created a backup of that particular VM and when you create a backup um, using uh, change block tracking it creates a virtual machine snapshot as part of the process. Normally that occurs at the uh, VMware layer and you can see for example a snapshot has been created that's a interim step as part of that backup. But what's interesting about this is that since we're using uh, virtual volumes, uh, uh, these VVOLs as part of the VM granular uh, storage initiative, uh, when we go and we take a look you can see that there's a series of uh, you know VMs that are VM volumes and one of them was a snapshot. So in other words, we did a VM level snapshot at the VVOL level uh, as part of that process. So it's taking that idea of VAI, of hardware acceleration, to a, to a further point. Um, the backup is continuing on through its process and as part of the uh, 
backup process once it's completely done you can see uh, some time has elapsed you know we've processed a boatload of uh, uh, gigabytes through the process and at the end of the process that snapshot which is temporary and interim is going to get deleted again what's important to understand here is that we're doing this all at the VM level of granularity and what's cool is that today you can really only do that on NFS type data stores uh, VVOLs and VM granular storage brings that idea into both block and NAS use cases and actually makes it a lot more robust than even uh, the VM level implementations that exist today. So very, very cool stuff about where we're going. I think that the future of storage is definitely that policy is going to be driven at the VMware layer and enforced at the uh, infrastructure layer, uh, which is really that idea of a, a software defined data center. So if we go and we take a look here, uh, that VM is done. If we take a look at the snapshot manager at the VMware layer, once again, uh, you know, the snapshot's been expired. Um, and if we go and we take a look at the storage layer, again, the snapshot's been expired. So cool stuff. And, and this really represents the future of where, where we're going. Ultimately, uh, this won't be driven by the VMware administrator or the storage administrator, but will actually be a policy that's driven by the SAP administrator. Um, we've demonstrated things like that in the past uh, at, uh, at EMC and VMware using things like the SAP uh, uh, Landscape Virtualization Manager. So policy is definitely moving upwards uh, and execution is uh, being driven downwards. Um, and very, very cool example of where VMware, EMC, SAP, and the industry a whole is going. Cool stuff.